Manchester is arguably one of the most passionate cities for sport, whether it's because of the Olympic athletes training at the Velodrome or the battle between the Reds and the Blues in football. Now, a leading uh, professor of sports management at Robert uh, Morris University in Pittsburgh has flown into Salford to see how we can develop sports at the university. David Sanalka is joining us in the studio now. David, thank you for coming in. So tell us more about why you're here and what you hope to achieve from your visit. Well, I was invited by your Pro Vice Chancellor, uh, Brian Longhurst, to learn about the University of Salford as well as Media City. And all I can say is I'm impressed by the facility here and the opportunities. We're very lucky to have all this um, amazing uh, te you know, technology like around us. So what have you heard about the Manchester sports scene and how does it compare to Pittsburgh? Well, first of all, uh, I know you have two premier soccer teams, of which the most famous is Man U. Uh, which is the most famous sports brand in the world and the most highly valued sports franchise uh, at $3.2 billion. And when I look at the passion with Man U, we can compare it to our own American football team, the Pittsburgh Steelers, of which there is a phenomenon known as Steeler Nation, where across the United States and across the world, we have Steeler fans that gather with, at pubs and uh, in homes to watch their favorite football team from Pittsburgh. Excellent. So a university's sporting opportunities and success are often features a university takes most pride of. So why do you think this is? Well, universities use sports as a way of promoting their brand. At Robert Morris, uh, we use sports, particularly with the success of our sports teams in the media, to make the uh, public aware outside the uh, southwestern Pennsylvania region of the university and other programs. And we also recruit our student athletes nationally and internationally. And this has helped to expand our recruiting base and our brand. Excellent. So how have you personally helped to improve sports at Robert Morris University? I'm sure you've done like a lot for the university already. So. Well, I've worked in athletics uh, when we were starting out in Division I sports and, con and helped to contribute to the su success of our basketball teams. Uh, we were able to make our national playoffs within the first five years. And over the, the last 30 years, I've been part of the uh, sports management faculty and have had the chance to lead the department over the last 15 years. And we've placed a lot of uh, our alumni into our four major league sports, the NFL, Major League Baseball, uh, the National Hockey League, and the National Basketball Association. So just for the viewers back at home, a national playoff is what exactly? Uh, for our, un for our university competition, okay. uh, we have, well, it's coming up, it's called, known as March Madness, where the top 64 teams will compete in a, uh, in a, a bracket competition, and it's a three-week uh, competition, and at wow. the end of the uh, three-week period, there's a national playoff between Excellent. two teams. So have you been down to the University Sports Center yet? Yes, I had the opportunity to tour the center yesterday afternoon. What do you think of it? Uh, improvements, how we can you know, go forward with it. <laughs> I think there's some opportunities for improvements in terms of your fitness facilities, mm -hmm. as well as planning uh, your facilities for innovative programming beyond fitness, maybe uh, some competitive team sports and different types of uh, special events. Uh, from what I've seen down there, uh, you have a very uh, dedicated and passionate staff and by providing uh, new updated facilities that will provide a lot of opportunities for the uh, Salford students. Something that I like to do is um, play a lot of squash. And I, I know that the um, courts down there are like, you know, particularly good. Are you uh, an avid squash player, racket player? I, I, I played racquetball sport? when I was younger. And I've had a few friends that have been squash uh, players. I've attempted the game once and it was challenging. It is very, very challenging. Um, so why do you think it is important to focus um, university budgets on improving sporting faci um, facilities? Uh, first of all, it helps uh, s students' fitness and health, as also in terms of helping with their socialization skills as far as learning teamwork, uh, learning how to uh, manage stress, and just creating a healthy outlet uh, for as part of your student life. And in terms of diet, um, in improving a, um, a sports team uh, performance, how important is uh, diet in general in improving sports? Nutrition is, has been one of the areas over the last 30 years that a lot of attention has been paid to uh, dietary supplements, um, training, uh, nutritional cycles, as well as uh, looking at the impact of performance. Uh, 
Now, I know like a lot of athletes, practice. they are um, you know, taking these protein plus shakes. I'm just personally interested on your opinion on that because I know they can be quite you know, controversial. How important are they compared to a natural diet, like a, like a natural income of protein? Uh, that's been, you're right, it's somewhat controversial yeah. because the question is, first of all, are they really that effective in terms of improving performance? as well as that too much protein in your diet can be stressful in different parts of your uh, physiological system. So how do you feel sport can be um, beneficial not just to the university community but also to the wider community? Uh, first of all it does provide entertainment. Uh, it can provide uh, knowledge in terms of your campus as well as providing um, op opportunities for youth in terms of maybe sports camps and clinics. So there's a lot of benefits uh, that you have from a comprehensive sports program. Now we've talked a, a bit about diets. Now um, moving on to sporting technology, or maybe good old-fashioned um, sport practice, which do you think gives a um, sporting team um, the competitive edge? Uh, conditioning. Um, I think selection of talent, as well as you know, how does it fit in terms of their overall team strategy, depending on what level. Uh, in our country, sometimes you recruit, and depending on what level, you have to adapt your strategy to your recruits. On the other hand, if you're a professional sports team, then you can draft those athletes specifically to fit your team overall offensive and defensive uh, schemes. Now, obviously, people are very passionate about Manchester United and Man City here, and you've obviously had you no know, Beckham playing in Los Angeles, so are you missing Bex and, you know, since he's moved to uh, France? And who do you support? Do you support British football teams or? Of course I support <laughs> British football teams. <laughs> They're one of the best known uh, teams in the world. Uh, as far as David Beckham, uh, I think it's been a bit of a loss for uh, the MSL, uh, simply because he's a well-known player, a superstar, and in terms of drawing attention and crowds around the league, uh, has been a, big, a major benefit. And yes, we're sorry to have seen him leave uh, our country. Excellent. Um, I know that one of the largest influential factors as to whether you know students participate in sports clubs and become gym members is uh, price. So uh, do you have any suggestions as, um, as to how the university can make sport more accessible to its students? Well, fees are typically one way of doing it, but there are some other opportunities in terms of looking at sponsorships as far as uh, selling signage, uh, maybe uh, soliciting donations from alumni to help uh, support these facilities. So you can look at different alternative funding routes. Because sport is, is obviously a very imp um, important factor in a um, student's, or not, not just um, physical health, but also mental health. So would you say it benefits more the physical side of things or the mental side of things? I think, it, I think there's a nice balance between both. Yeah, sure. Okay. Thank you very much, David, for coming in. Thank you. You're welcome.